So in Brighter Shore, you're probably thinking, how do I get to level 15? Now, I've managed to spend a couple of hours and get straight to level 18 on this. So I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do from the get-go. So if you obviously are in the normal port you've just kind of started, you will find that you'll be able to kind of teleport after like a the first few tutorial bits. But then once you kind of get through all of the tutorial, they will then leave you to pretty much your own devices and you'll kind of then have to go through your main quest line. Now, obviously the main quest at the moment is leveling up. And as you can see, you've kind of got to get to the point where you want to use a bow. So you'll go speak to this guy over here and he'll say, you need to be a level 15 guard first. So the first things first, you want to then obviously make sure that you've got all of your um, kind of just weapons. I'd say you've only got really one here and that's going to be the sword. So you can't use the attack dummies because more than likely you're too high a level for it to start with anyway. So you want to make your way up here first. This will be the very bug standard levels to start with. And you can then go ahead and go and kill these sparring guards. Now, as you can see, the sparring guards do go up in level as well. So once you get to like level, I think it's 12 or so, you'll find that they do upgrade in their level then. Which, as you can see, if you go into this, if you go into this level and then go into your guard level, uh, you'll be able to see all of the unlocks that you've got. So, obviously, you're going to be uh, going against these recruit sparring guards. And you can see some unlocks as you go forward. So, a lot of these are all zero. And then you can see the rookie guard does come in at level 12. They will then upgrade again, I think, a little bit later on if they do. They might not actually. Oh, no, they do. At the patrol sparring guard. So, they go up again. The problem you have is at level 12, you're already level 12, they're level 18, and I found that it does become slightly more difficult to actually go against them in this. Um, you will have picked up some of your armor, so for instance, I got the epic halberd, um, obviously you won't have the bow yet, and as you'll see in the inventory, you'll find a lot of common stuff, and maybe you get some uncommon, and then maybe some rare, so you want to add that as much as you can, and also pick up the rest to sell on later on as well, just for some extra coins. So if you're going into this, you'll find that even like now, I'm finding that if I go for just the normal attack, sometimes you will find that they will just get battered anyway. Who's going to be next up? You've got to be quick for this as well because there is more and more people doing it. But you'll find that they definitely have more of an attack and you will find that you'll die a few times. Now, obviously dying isn't a problem at the start because you don't lose anything. But you can even see now, like, it's not necessarily the greatest way if I take a few fives and then he hits me with a 20. It puts me in a big position and obviously I'm a little bit higher rated now. So at level 12, this does become relatively difficult as well. Now, what I have found is if you go onto the map, you won't have all of the map done already, but I've tried to kind of get as much as possible. You'll find the Deadly Crows, which I was at to start with, which are a little bit further away. Where have they gone? They are here. Now, the Death Crows are at a slightly lower level to start with. So if you find they're at level 12, sometimes at level 16, you might be able to attack them a little bit more. So they could be something you'd go for as well, which is nice and easy. But another good thing that you can use, and I just tried to persevere with the sparring guards as much as possible by also utilizing some health potions. So these can be got in the, well, you'll know where the potions are if you've done a bit of the tutorial because they are just slightly down here to the right. And then if you go into this bit, as like I said, selling some of your stuff into the quartermaster over here is going to be perfect to be able to afford some of them. So obviously you can sell your items and anything that I don't need. So I don't need any of this. I can sell all of this to get some extra coins, which will obviously work in my favor later on down the line. So we've sold all of that. I've got everything I need on. Um, this is just very basics. I uh, kind of don't need too much money. But if you go into the potion store here, you can either get a strength potion. You can obviously get a health potion and it will utilize to to be able to help you out a little bit so you can see you've got a, obviously some fear some healing for combat you've then got some strength then you've also got some more stuff for, for kind of the extra abilities that you can utilize so obviously you've got the xp one as well if you really want um, so there's multiple things that you can do when uh, kind of doing this i would go for the 25 percent and all you've got to do with that again if you go back to them dead uh, them sparring player people it does take a little bit of time to get you to it but you've got to obviously use it in the right the right method as well because you you do have to wait a second and basically take a hit or two which can 
almost diminish what your health potion actually does. But as you get stronger, these don't get stronger. So the more that you can kill at level 12, 13, 14, the easier it will be to be able to do it. Because obviously, if I get this at level 14, 15, 16, I'm getting stronger in all my hits as well. And then once you hit level 15, you can kind of spar on these pretty easily because I can obviously get a few bow hits before I actually hit them with a halberd here. You can do three arrows at a time. So I've managed to hit him for... 16 before I've managed to go and obviously if they're hitting hard it gives me a little bit of a buff But again if I want to use the health potion it means I take a little bit of a hit as well So you best hope they don't hit the 20s on you and all I did is persevere for this It's kind of the best way to do it in my opinion Just to start with because once you've got the bow like I said it does become that little bit easier to rank yourself up Just by having that bow and being able to obviously hit with a bit more of a distance, which is very nice, because I can go from here, we can then go ahead and hit 11s, sometimes we can go again and hit 15s, we've done 35 damage before he's even managed to get to me, which does allow a little bit more of, a little bit of time to do it, and you find the potions then are not necessarily as much uh, kind of needed for you, but you just want to be kind of doing that, focusing on your battle. And if you do die, like I say, you'll only go to the like the health port portion, which is just down the road. I think it's pretty much just over here. The um, And that's pretty much all you've got to do. It's very, very simple. It does take a little bit of time to get used to the mechanics. But once you're there, it should be relatively simple. And you'll be able to level up with no problem. And then we can get on to some quests. Let me know how you get on. And I'll catch you all for the next one.